Hello my students. So thank you for your visitation to this video. And in this video, we are going to learn how to attempt the animation of soccer just like this. Alright, to be able to achieve that, in this video, we are going to learn certain methods and also don't forget the basic lessons of organizing our files with Computer File Explorer. Alright, before you are starting making the video, Firstly, we are going to retrieve our material from the Google Classroom, of course. So that's why in this video, you need to connect your laptop at least to the internet. So here I'm going to use my own router, my own wireless router. All right, it's already connected. And then open your Google Chrome and access Google Classroom. All right, when you enter the, uh, the password, just drag it to this topic, information and technology. And then after that, you will see this instruction. You can read first and then here the method that we are going to use. So I'm going to direct to here. Just right click and then open link in your tab. Or in Bahasa, buka di tab baru. Okay, and then just right click, open link in your tab. Why not just click it? It's much better if you right click on open link and you tap. As you can see here, the green is the background while the ball is the object. Why we are going to use green screen ball instead of transparent ball? Well, I already explained it in the class online. So I'm not going to explain once again in this video because it will increase the length of this video. So let's just download it. When I download, uh, it asks me how or where to save it. So how to enable it. Okay, I will cancel it. Just click on the settings. Oh, I'm in here, settings. And then just type download. In here, you see the downloads and location. This is the default location of your downloads file. And there is a feature ask where to save each file before downloading. You need to, this is disabled and this one is enabled. So we need to enable this one and every time you download, you will be asked where to save. So this feature actually help us to organize our file more organized. So here I'm going to save it in my documents and I'm going to save it in pivot animator since this ball is going to be used for our pivot animation so here we use it uh, and we are going to place it here yeah ball with no background just place it here and then save since i have already the file here so i'm going to replace it anyway just click yes to replace all right so once done i'm going to close this all right so remember the file save is in document. All right, in document and then pivot animator. So it's all outside the animation effect figures folder. So here, the outside, right here. So after you're done retrieving your ball as your material, we are going to open pivot animator. So we just click it. All right. So just like you saw, we are going to maximize it. We need to change the stage. Make sure that it is 640 times the height is 480. After you're done with all things, make sure the options are the same like this and then just click OK after you're done. All right, so we are going to use the animation. No. We are going to delete this and we are inside we are going to look a uh, figure type up one level here you see here figures and just click figures and you will see this one default pivot two we are going to use this one why choose the thin because with thin stickman we can see the movement of the figure clearly rather than the thick one so we are going to make this one standing just like normally or we are going to make this man as if ready for kicking the ball so like this all right done now how to insert the ball 
just click file and then load sprite image remember if you load background for example like here would you like to set the animation dimension to dimensional no so you won't be able to move the ball so i'm going to undo it so that's why we need to load sprite image what is load sprite image in here the feature of sprite image it will enable you to use the ball along with your stickman animation so it does mean that the ball can be moved anytime during creating the frame so we are going to open this ball with no background or bg and then open it wow this is so big as you can see there are two circles right here there's yellow and red remember the yellow one is to move the whole of the figure while the red one is to control the rotation and the red one also will make you able to decrease or increase the size as well so how to do that you just need to press control on your keyboard and then click the red button while you're holding the control and you can decrease the ball size so i'm going to use the size as small as this and i will put it close to here perhaps all right just right here okay after you're done and already prepared the ball and also the stick mat here we are going to change the fps right here we are going to change it into 10 so you can choose arrow to decrease it more precisely okay 10 fps everything is done and good here i'm going to make the stickman to move i want just to make a note that you don't have to match the figure perfectly okay as long as your stickman make a necessary move of kicking ball it will be alright so just relax here i'm going to show you just the reference of the movement so here my stickman is um, make a position or make gesture of ready for kicking the ball and then i'm going to add frame this is the first frame and then i'm going to start to the second frame by moving the body okay i'm going to move it i'm going to strike it this is the third frame Make sure the leg is not like this, yeah. <laughs> it's odd. Make sure that it it never overlap the straight leg. So make sure you just stay here like this one or straight. And I'm going to add frame and higher the leg. And I'm going to move in the hat. And then I'm going to add for the fourth frame. So if I play it, it will play like this. Well, it's quite fast, right? All right. And then let's starting to kick the ball. Remember the hat is still lowing. All right. This is the fifth frame, and I'm going to move it. The body make uh like move back to make the body more balanced. So actually, yeah. How to know that this is balanced or not is by making a ex experiment yeah make a lot of experiment and you know that i believe when people start kicking the ball the body will move back to make the body balance so it will not fall so remember look here uh the lake that touched the ground right here it stay forever you can see the first frame the second frame the third frame, the fourth frame, the fifth frame, the sixth frame, the seventh frame. Wait, why the seventh frame are the same? I need to delete this one. Alright, the sixth frame and the seventh frame, this position never changed. So here I'm going to start in touch. Alright, so. Here I'm going to make the ball shaking as if the ball is uh, imbued with the energy. So I will show you how does it look like and I'm going to play. Look, 
It's like the ball is imbued with energy, like charging. That's just the animation. But you can do some experiment also. And start kicking the ball. Okay, let's try in here. Alright, so that's the what it and then move up a little bit banding starting to move and the ball fly height and it's almost like a flying okay because the power of the front leg is quite high make you almost like flying Oh, you can stay the ball, okay. Oh, I forgot to move the ball. Alright. Oh, just like this. And then, touch the ground. And then come down. Alright, like a suspension. And then this ball come back. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to edit this one. It's jumping. The ball come back. I'm going to add frame to add, uh, apply the edit. And then come here, ball. And I'm going to start again. the ball is getting closer and closer and it's starting to standing remember look at this leg doesn't move and the ball getting closer and this is the last movement that I show you And the balls, balls come back. And I think uh, over here, close to here. All right, just looking down. So if I play it, let's see what will happen. Boom, boom, just like that. It's so simple. Yep. So. I've spent 24 frames. Here I'm going to show you once again from the first frame. This is the first frame and this is the second frame. This is the third frame, fourth frame, fifth frame, sixth frame, seventh frame, eighth frame, ninth frame. Look at the ball. Tenth frame. 11th frame 12th frame still in the ball and finally the 13th frame 14th frame 15th frame and here is the 16th frame 17th frame it's flying 18th frame it's stopping while the ball touching the wall the 19th frame and then the 20th frame and 21st 20 second balls coming closer and then the 23rd and down so that is the movement so for now since this is a worksheet you have to follow the reference of the movement while in the next quiz you are allowed to use your own creativity so lastly we are going to save this file uh, here save the animation as or save animation it's fine and then just type docker dash for my name and then just save it after you're done uh, saving it and then you can export the animation 
and also here you will choose GIF not AVI video because this is has larger size and then type the name of the file once again like before soccer and then just then just save it uh, nothing to change advanced it's just like this just optimal and then just okay all right once it's done it's right here yeah the soccer jazz look here and we are how to know it is already properly or not you just need to drag it and then go to your google chrome and then uh, drag into the tab until you see the arrow there and then just open it and you will see your animation already played there okay after you're done and then access your google classroom here you are assigned you just need to click this topic or the title okay yeah just click the title and then here your work you will ask to upload your work so make sure that your computer already connect to internet access and then just click add don't use mobile phone okay to take picture for those who use android application for the statement because you are using imac uh, printing system or ios uh, make sure that you export as a video so i know that you are making proper animation while for those who use a uh, pivot animator in windows system please upload the key and then upload file not link not google drive just upload file uh, you will see this one browse or drag the file here i will prefer drag the file because it's much easier so here i have soccer jazz and the type file is gif and then i will just drag it look how to drag it just click and hold and then drag it to the google chrome okay and then after it's already blue like this release the file so it's uploading and after you done it's already uploaded the loading so just turn in and then one attention will be submitted for fps turn in well if you make take you can unsubmit and change your animation for here uh, for example here i'm going to unsubmit uh, for example oh i have wrong file and then unsubmit and then don't forget to delete and then add or create once again and after you're done with the correct file and then just turn in so that is the way how to upload your file through google classroom so thank you for watching everyone i hope this video can trigger your curiosity and enable you to have creativity for the quiz in the next meeting okay good luck once again and god bless you